Hello people, welcome back. This question is from Gate 2020 exam and this one is for two marks. They are asking if you call this function pp and pass 3 comma 4 as parameters, what is the value that will be returned? So when you call this function pp 3 comma 4, this variable a is going to get a value 3. This variable b, it will get value 4. Okay, then first line of this function will be executed. That is int arr of 20. You are trying to declare an integer array of 20 elements. Suppose this is that array. It will have 20 elements. So the indexes will go from 0 to 19. Like this. So 0 to 19 means a total of 20 elements. Its name is arr. Okay, then you are trying to declare some more integers, i, then next integer is t o t, it has given an initial value of 1, then next integer is e x, then l e n, okay, then in next line you are assigning whatever is saved in a to this variable x. In A, we have value 3. So, 3 is assigned to X like this. Okay. Then in next line, this variable len, it is updated. New value that is assigned to is assigned to this len is whatever is returned by this function call. Now, let us see what this function is going to return. We are calling this function TOB. To this function, we are passing B. So, value of B is 4. That means 4 is passed. So this variable b, it gets a value 4 like this, okay. Then next thing that we are passing is this array. Here, we have a pointer to receive the second parameter. So can a pointer receive an entire array? Is it possible? It is possible. See, array name arr actually represents the address of first element in this array. That means this arr is just like a pointer. It points to this first element or base address of array. We have already seen it is not exactly a pointer, but it behaves like a pointer because it contains address of the array or base address of the array. So you are actually passing base address of this array. And here you have a pointer to receive address. Okay. So this is ARR. It is a pointer to some integer. Okay. And we are passing base address of this array in this ARR. So this ARR will now start pointing in beginning of the array, okay, because we have passed this array name. Now see, in next line, we are declaring a variable i, that is of integer type. Then you have a for loop. In the initialization expression of this for loop, we have initialized variable i. Condition is if b is greater than 0. So is this condition true or not? Let us see. B is 4. So 4 is greater than 0. That means condition is true. So you are going to enter this loop. First line in body of loop is if B modulus 2. What is the meaning of B modulus 2? That means whatever is the remainder of B divided by 2, write it here. Remainder of 4 divided by 2 will be 0. So if 0, then do this. But 0 in C language, it is treated as false. So if false, the condition evaluated to false, that means simply execute this line, okay, whatever is the else statement that will be executed. Else statement here is ARR of i is equal to 0. ARR points here, i is 0, that means you are talking about this element only. We are trying to save a 0 here, okay. See, can you write square brackets with the pointer, ARR is a pointer. Can we write square brackets with the pointer? Yes, we can. So this thing, ARR of i means star ARR plus i. So whatever is the address ARR, to that address add i, i means 0. So to this address, we are adding 0. That means again, you get this address only. Take the value at that address, okay? That means this value. You are trying to update this value by 0. So I've written 0 there, okay? Then next line is b is equal to b divided by 2. That means 4 divided by 2, which will be 2. So new value for b is 2. 
Now let's see what will happen in next iteration. For next iteration, I will become one. So from zero, I got incremented to one. B greater than zero, is it true or false? Two is greater than zero, it is still true, okay? That means you are going to execute this body of loop. If B modulus two, B modulus two means two modulus two, that is zero. So two divided by two will give you remainder zero. So this if condition is false, that means else statement is going to be executed. So ARR of one is equal to zero. This is ARR. ARR plus one means this address, this one. And writing star will give you this value, okay? Just see according to this formula. So star means this value. On this value, we want to write zero, okay? We are updating this value with a zero, like this. And then b is equal to b divided by two. Two divided by two is one, like this. Still, this value is greater than zero, okay? See, first thing is, i will be incremented to two. Now check this condition. One is greater than two, that is true. So if b modulus two, this time you'll get a remainder, okay? When you divide one with two, you'll get remainder one. One means two. This time this condition has evaluated to two. That means ARR of two, this value, it is updated with one, okay, here. So I'm writing a one here like this. So this time you will not execute the else statement, okay? Skip the statement. Next line is if Sorry, next line is b is equal to b divided by 2. So 1 divided by 2 will be 0 0.5. Take only integer part because b is an integer variable. That means 0. Now this loop condition is false. Okay. First thing is increment the variable i. i will become 3. Now check loop condition. If this condition is true, then enter the loop. Loop condition is false. Okay. This evaluated to false. That means loop has terminated now. So come out of this loop, execute the remaining line. Only one line is remaining, that is return i. i is currently three. So three will be returned, okay? So tob b comma arr has returned you three. That means you are assigning three to variable l e n like this, okay? See, these are the local variables for function pp. All of these, they are local variables of function tob. Now, TOB has ended. When a function ends, all of its local variables, they are deleted. Okay, so all of these variables, they will be lost. Okay, now let us see what will happen here. So we have assigned this value to LEN. Let's execute next lines. For i is equal to 0 to i is equal to LEN. So you are going from 0 to LEN minus 1 actually. And every time you are doing these things. Let us see what will happen. You have initialized i with a value zero. So I'm writing zero in i. i is less than len. len is three. Zero is less than three, true. So this condition is true. That means we are going to enter body of this loop. So this loop says, if arr of i, that means arr of zero. So this value, that is zero is equal to equal to one. Zero is not equal to one. So this condition is false, okay? This condition is false. That means you are executing this line. This line will be skipped, okay? Simply come here. EX is updated with EX into EX. So EX is currently three. Three into three means nine. So nine is assigned to variable X like this, okay? Now in next iteration, I will be updated to one i becomes one, one is less than three true. So if arr of i, that means this value. If it is one, then do this thing. It is actually zero. So still this condition is false. So again, just update ex with this new value. So that will be nine into nine, that is 81, okay? And then you'll just execute the update expression of for loop i will become 2. i is now 2. 2 is less than 3. True. Okay. Now let us see if arr of 2 is 1. arr of 2 is actually 1. So 1 is equal to is equal to 1 will give you true. If statement has resulted to true. So tot, this variable, it will be updated with tot into ex. So 1 into ex, that is 81. 81 into 1. So TOT becomes 
81 like this and ex it has assigned a new value of 81 into 81 see this is currently 81 this is also 81 so 81 into 81 it is assigned to ex so ex now becomes 6 5 something okay let us keep it like this only 81 into 81 you can calculate it yourself now you are trying to return something. The variable that is returned is TOT. TOT currently has this value 81. So you are trying to return 81. This was the question. What is returned if you call PP3, 4? Answer is 81 is returned. So I am writing the answer here. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you have a good day.